Oh, hi there. So, English pronunciation is difficult, isn't it? We all know that, but you can do it. Now, I want you to think about that video. This is my brother, mother, father. It's the TH sound. The whole funny part, the whole comedy of the comedy is he can't say th. He can't make the TH sound. That's why it's funny. So today we're going to talk a little bit about that. Now, pronunciation's not easy and it takes a lot of work. So I want you to think about a sport, let's say golf. If I'm trying to learn to golf, I do a perfect shot one time. I'm not a good golfer. I just, I got lucky once. I need to do many shots and little by little I'm getting more perfect. I'm getting better and better every time, but it takes a long time. It's the same way with pronunciation. In golf, my muscles need to remember. The muscle in pronunciation, that's your tongue. And I need to repeat and reuse it and repeat and reuse it over and over and over again. And little by little, your pronunciation is going to get better. Now, here's what you need to remember. Here's what your tongue needs to remember. So first, you know your tongue needs to come out on that mother. Your tongue needs to come out. But how far? Don't go out too far. You're not saying mother, mother. That's not right. It goes out just a little bit. So take your finger and put it here against your lips. And then stick your tongue into it. That's how far. Mother. Mother. Your tongue's just going out a little bit. Mother. Mother. That's how far I want you to put your tongue out. And now the second point is your tongue, it's not loose. It's not flapping around. Blah, 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 blah. That's not what you're doing. It's got a pop to it. It's got a snap. So your tongue goes out a little bit and it's up against the bottom of your teeth. Just a little bit. Mother. Father. Brother. That's how your tongue's going to work. Now, the last thing you need to remember is it's like a sandwich. Bottom, uh, bottom, top, and then your, the tongue is in the middle, right? So your mouth isn't opening very much. It's mother, father. So your tongue goes out a little bit, up against the top teeth, and then you're closing your lips down. Mother, father. Think about that video. He kept saying, maza, faza, this is my braza. That's because the tongue wasn't doing those three things. If you stick your tongue out, you can't make that Z sound. I can't do it. The tongue's not out too far, so it makes that Z sound. Braza, braza, braza. You stick your tongue out a little bit more. Brother, brother. It becomes the T sound. Brother, brother. But if it doesn't go out far enough, braza, braza, braza. I can't get my tongue out. So you got to focus on those three things. All right. Please repeat after me. Let's go. Father. Father. Mother. Mother. Brother. Brother. This is my brother. This is my mother. This is my father. Good job, guys. I hope that was helpful. Next, we're going to play a couple of games with some pronunciation. So the first one, I want you to look at your worksheet. The first game is called What's That Word? Now, in normal Japanese life, you are using English words many, many times every day. But the pronunciation gets changed a little bit usually, right? So I'm going to say a word with my accent. And I just want you to write down the word that you think I'm saying. You can write it down in katakana, but I'm going to say the normal pronunciation and you write down what word you think I'm saying. So, for example, if I say radio, 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 you think, what the word say? <gasps> radio. And you're going to write down radio on your paper, and that's how the game's going to work. I've got five words for you, so just write down the word that you think I'm saying. Here we go. Number one, career. 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 Number two, tour. 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 Number three, bucket. 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 
Number four, series. 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 And the last one, number five, charisma. 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 All right, we're gonna play one more game, and this game is called What's That Sentence? What's that sentence now? So this is quite different. So this time I'm gonna say a full sentence in pretty easy English, but I'm gonna turn the volume way down. And you're not gonna be able to hear what I'm saying, so you need to watch my mouth. You need to watch my tongue, the way it's moving, and think, ah, what's he saying? You're watching to think and understand what I'm saying. It's gonna work like this. Here we go. So the first one is gonna be this. So, could you guess what I was saying, maybe? I said, this is a table. Three sentences. Number one. Here we go. Good luck. Hmm. All right. Number two. All right, last one, here we go. All right, do you think you got them? If you're a little not sure, you can go back and watch the video over and over again, but I'm not going to tell you the answers. I'm going to tell you the answers next week on the Zoom meeting. So look forward to that. Good luck. So we've been talking about coffee lately. We talked about how I make my coffee. We talked a little bit about coffee beans. We even talked about the history of coffee. So today I want to talk a little bit about coffee mugs. So I have a lot of coffee mugs and they're all really, really special to me. So some, like, like these ones, these were presents from friends and family. Other coffee mugs I got from uh, friends of mine who are potters. They're making pottery around here. So for like these ones, this is called Kyosangama from Hasami. This one is Sogama. That's here in Arita. And the maker is a really good friend of mine. Other coffee mugs. So this is the coffee mug I used the whole time I lived in Africa. It has a lot of good memories for me. This one I bought in Amsterdam at a Starbucks. This is the first coffee mug I ever bought. I bought it in Japan. It's from Hasami. It's called Aobagama. And many, many years after I bought this, I actually became friends with the maker. This is the most recent coffee mug I've bought. This is from my hometown in Canada, and the artist has carved in all these buildings, and these are famous buildings around my town back in Canada. But even though I love all my coffee mugs, I think this mug is probably my favorite. I love this mug, but I don't know why. It is blue with flowers on it. This mug is not cool. Actually, it's quite ugly. The design is strange and the shape is not very modern. This mug has no special meaning to me. I got it when my friend was throwing it in the garbage. This mug is not very cool but I love the way it feels in my hand. It is tall, light, 
and thin. It is not too big and not too small. I don't know why I like it, but drinking from this mug always makes me happy. Okay, please repeat after me. I love this mug, but I don't know why. It is blue with flowers on it. This mug is not cool. Actually, it's quite ugly. The design is strange and the shape is not very modern. This mug has no special meaning to me. I got it when my friend was throwing it in the garbage. This mug is not very cool, but I love the way it feels in my hand. It's tall, light, and thin. It is not too big and not too small. I don't know why I like it, but drinking from this mug always makes me happy. Next, please try reading along with me. I love this mug, but I don't know why. It is blue with flowers on it. The mug is not cool. Actually, it's quite ugly. The design is strange and the shape is not very modern. This mug has no special meaning to me. I got it when my friend was throwing it in the garbage. This mug is not very cool, but I love the way it feels in my hand. It is tall, light, and thin. It is not too big and not too small. I don't know why I like it, but drinking from this mug always makes me happy. Good. Now, please try it by yourself. All right, I want you to try it again, but this time I'm going to speed it up a little. All right, let's try it one more time, this time really, really fast. 
Good luck. All right, so that's a little bit about my favorite coffee mug. Now, on the Zoom meeting next time, what's going to happen is we're going to check the answers from those two little games we had. But after that, I want you to bring and tell me about your favorite coffee mug. I'm curious to see it, so I want to see you with your favorite coffee mug or teacup or anything's okay. But I want you to tell me about it, why you like it, where it's from, etc. Uh, so. Today was good. I'm glad I could finally use that Ken Shimura video. I've wanted to use that since the day he sadly passed away, so I'm happy we could do that. One final thought on pronunciation. Pronunciation is important, but it's not that important. If your pronunciation isn't perfect, don't worry about it. Communication is important, not pronunciation. I talk Japanese all day, every day, and my pronunciation is horrible. But I'm talking to people, I'm having fun, I'm communicating, and that's what's important. So it's good to practice your pronunciation, but never let it stop you from communicating. All right, we're gonna finish there for today. I hope you enjoyed today. Uh, I know I did. Please, everyone, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.